Hi, Alyssa. Good morning, Kelvin. Ready for PBL? Yeah, I wonder what our case will be about today. I know, I'm excited to see who our next patient is. So here at Jabsum, you probably heard a lot about a curriculum being based around problem-based learning, or PBL. During the first two years, we meet in small PBL groups twice a week and go through mock patient cases. We identify problems being presented, make hypotheses, and work through the scenario as if we were physicians. It really gets us to start thinking like doctors and prepares us for our third and fourth years when we're in the hospitals. At the end of each session, we come up with specific topics or learning issues that we want to learn more about. We then research these topics on our own and present them to our class at our next session. PBL meeting times and locations vary among groups. Our group meets on campus in the morning, while others may meet in the afternoon. Some even meet off-site at nearby clinics. Wow, I didn't expect that diagnosis. I know, I've heard about that before, but didn't know how it was presented. I'm going to go down to the library to start on my allies. Do you want to join? You know, I think I'm going to head home and cook for the week and then cover some of our previous allies and go over flashcards before bed. All right. Do you want to study before community health tomorrow? Yeah, out of seven sound. Sounds good. All right. I like to study in the library, mainly because I want to wait the traffic to die down and I want to get work done. There's a communal study area as well as a computer lab, but for me I like to study in the silent section called the stacks. You know what that means? Community health. Which program are you in? I'm in the medical students and mental health program. So I'm headed over to Hawaii State Hospital to work directly with patients and learn a little bit more about mental illness. You are in CHEP, right? Yep, the school health education program. My Pahu High School students are coming to Japsum. We're going to show them a tour, show them the anatomy lab, and go through a PBL case. Wow, that's so neat. I heard the Native Hawaiian group gets to go work in Aloe too. It's super awesome that we can connect with the people of Hawaii and give back to our community. I totally agree. It's such a unique part of the Jobson curriculum. Well, I'll see you after for the pediatric interest group. Sounds good. All right. Yeah, these interest group meetings are really fun and interactive, and they always provide food. Very good point, and there's so many to choose from. Shall we go downstairs to study? I think that's a good idea. So what are you going to work on tonight? I think I better get a start on my LIs. How about you? I'm going to review tomorrow's lecture slides. That's a good idea. I think I'm gonna head home. I think I'm gonna stay a little later. Do you want me to walk you to your car? Um, thanks, but that's okay. Our security will actually escort us to our cars. All right, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Yep, see you at lecture. Night. Good night. Morning, Calvin. Good morning. 
Ready for a full day of lectures? I think we have physiology, biochemistry, and a patient panel. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty full day, but I heard that our lecture is being given by one of the best cardiologists in the state. Really? That's awesome. I love that we get to learn from doctors from our community. Shall we go in? Okay. who have experienced a diagnosis firsthand. Yeah, it really brings our PBL cases to life. I agree. What are you doing for lunch today? I brought home lunch that I left in a student lounge. What about you? I think I'll check out one of the food trucks. You want to meet outside? Sounds good. Okay. Next to the PBL rooms, we have our student lounge. Inside, we have a foosball table, Nintendo, a refrigerator, and a microwave. It's a good place to relax and take care of our well-being throughout the year. So we have a bunch of different food options here on campus. We have the cafeteria inside with a bunch of different food vendors. And then uh, during the week we also have a bunch of different food trucks we stop by. There's also Salt Kakaako across the street with a bunch of different cafes and restaurants to choose from as well. I wonder what we're doing for clinical skills today. I heard we get to practice taking blood pressures and taking a good history from a patient. Nice. It's a good thing we can practice here first and then do it to a real patient at our, with our clinical mentors. I totally agree. I feel pretty prepared for our cardiology mentorship now. Me too. Dr. Casilla is such a great teacher. I can't wait to practice on a real patient. Did you finish your LIs for tomorrow? No, not yet. I'm going to go down to the computer lab to finish up. What are you up to now? Well, I think I'll go home and review some of the material from lectures from today. I really need to do that, along with some flashcards. All right. Well, I'll see you bright and early tomorrow. Yeah, sounds good. Can't wait for your presentation. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning. You're here early. Yeah, I'm trying to finish up a quiz for my presentation, so hopefully you pre-read my allies. Actually, as a matter of fact, that's exactly why I'm here, just to go over some of our handouts. Nice. You want to sit down until PBL starts? Sure. grab some lunch before we head out to clinical mentorship. You want to meet about one o'clock to carpool? Sounds good. All right. You ready to go to the clinics? Yeah, let's do it. Started off the day learning about heart attacks and PBL. And we got to actually meet a patient who experienced a heart attack. Well, I think I'm going to head home and get some rest before another long day tomorrow. Okay, I think I'm going to stick around until traffic dies down. I'll probably pre-read some lectures for tomorrow. Okay, make sure you get some rest. All right, I'll see you later. See you. Bye. Friday, Calvin. Morning. Nice Aloha shirt. Thanks, it's my favorite one. Ready for a pathology and pharmacology lecture? Yep. You ready to go in? Let's do it. Thanks. Great lecture, yeah? Yeah, super interesting. Well, I think I'm going to go eat lunch outside. You want to join? Uh, me and Sarah are going to eat at the mall today. Oh, cool. Have fun. I'll see you at Anatomy. Okay, sounds good. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Calvin. Wow, isn't this place super peaceful? It's 
it's really cool that we use some of these plants inside of our shell cases. Yeah, this is our Malala Al Lapa'au, or our native Hawaiian plant garden. So it provides us with an outdoor classroom where we can learn more and appreciate native Hawaiian and Nice. Sarah, look, there's a chicken! Oh. Some student wellness is a top priority. We have a health and wellness specialist and we also have a health and wellness officer for each class who plan events and activities for us to make sure we take care of ourselves too. Jobsum also offers weekly classes such as Zumba, yoga, and hula. They even offer us mats to take and use outside to enjoy the beautiful weather. Are you excited to look at the hearts of our silent teachers today in anatomy? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to taking a closer look. I'm so grateful for our silent teachers and their families who graciously donated their bodies for our education. Yeah, I'm really excited to organize a ceremony for those families at the end of the year for the Willard Body Program. Me too. Shall we go in? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going golfing with some friends and relaxing before hitting the books again. What about you? Nice, that sounds fun. I have an activity planned with my learning community, which will be a nice break between working on allies and studying our lectures. That sounds fun. I guess I'll see you on Monday? Yeah, have a good weekend. You too. Many of you may be wondering about the precautions that Jabsum is taking during this time of the COVID-19 pandemic. The school is paying close attention and following the recommendations of the Center for Disease Control as well as the recommendations of the State of Hawaii. This has resulted in changes such as mandatory masking when at Jabsum and at healthcare facilities, the practice of physical distancing even while in classes, and a move to distant learning whenever possible and appropriate. Students in clinical situations are outfitted with the appropriate and proper personal protective equipment and no student will be assigned to care for a patient under investigation of COVID-19 or a COVID-19 positive patient. Above all, student safety and welfare is our priority.